Hey guys, welcome to my video on the 2020 Canadian Rimfire Precision Series Eastern Qualifier. The location is at Pat Robitaille's Ranch in Rockland, Ontario. Wind conditions today were a switchy 8 to 14 km per hour crosswind, mainly left to right. I have put this video together because I wanted to look back and really analyse the match and see where I could personally improve. I also wanted to give people an opportunity to see what a CRPS, NRL 22 or PRS rimfire match would look like through the scope of a competitor. I took video through my scope using a Tacticam film through scope 5.0 system and I was shooting my Savage B22. I'm going to show the teachable moments from these clips and highlight a huge safety issue that we had so we can learn from it and it doesn't happen again going forwards. Stage 1. The Know Your Limits stage. 10 rounds, 2 minutes. The shooter starts standing, one yard behind the firing point. On the engage command, the shooter adopts the prone position and engages targets 1 through 6 with 1 round each. If 6 hits are made, the shooter may continue to engage target 6 for 2 points per additional hit. Shooter may choose to stop at any time and keep all points earned. However, if a target is missed, the shooter will lose all points and must re-engage from target 1. My elevation for this stage was 6.5 MOA. Oh, I'm going for it all. You over there? I'm going for big. Even Unless I miss. He hit the last like, one. I haven't twice. had a good day, so what's the worst that can happen? I have a two ways to think of it either. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Shooter ready? Yeah. Stand by. Engage. Okay, jumping down into the prone position. Got tons of time. I'm going to build myself a nice stable position here in the prone. Um, wind's not too bad, so I'm going to aim straight for center and see what happens on the plate. So, taking my time, two minutes from the prone. Never going to have a time issue. Dead center. Boom. Plate swings to the left. So, I'm going to confirm it didn't look like it was much left, so same place. Boom, plate swings to the left again. Okay, now I've got my correction. I'm going to aim just right of center. Okay, that one looked okay. Now the tires are getting smaller, just inside the right hand edge. Spun it, seemed to be centered to me. Now they're getting very small. So right hand edge. And it spins with authority, so I'm pretty happy at this point that I'm I'm pretty much bang on. So now smallest target, send it, and it spins with authority again. Normally this is the point where I would stop. My rifle is super accurate, but it's a windy day. Why get greedy? There's more stages to come. I take my shot, it costs me, I miss. I go from a six, back to a three, and this could have cost me Live and learn, that's what we're doing this for. Stage four, double cask. 10 rounds, two minutes. Starting one yard behind the firing point on the engage command, the shooter will adopt a shooting position from the right barrel and engage targets one through five with one round each. Hit or miss, the shooter will ground the rifle under the fence, go around the fence and engage targets one through five with one round each again. I corrected my scope so that I was zeroed at 100 yards, gave me a hold of zero at 100, 4 MOA at 125, 8.5 at 150, 13.5 at 175, and 18.25 at 200. I jumped down, both knees flat on the ground, one bag, no tripod. I could have, but I just didn't want to. I feel like I'm fairly steady, and it saves me for time. Speaking of time, I opted to dial. I opted to hold, sorry, and not to dial. Purely in the interest of time, I've always used semi-autos in the past. Um, so yeah, I, I'm pretty slow on the boat compared to some people. No, I didn't. And adding in the dialing factor. No, that's that the third well. one. One, two, three, and then the fourth. There we are. Throwing a fit. Okay. Adding into the dialing factor onto that as well. Just, I didn't feel comfortable that I would get all the rounds off in the time limit. Also, my wife was shooting, and it was her first match. So I didn't want to complicate things for her, so I told her to do exactly the same thing, rather than her messing around with a dial, just to uh, just to hold over, and it seemed to work. Like I, you can see, I've done pretty well on this stage. I cleaned it. So rifle goes down. I run around. Again, a lot of guys were using bipods for this bit, but I figured, you know what, the bag's so stable that on this stage anyway, I was just gonna run it just on the bag. 
and repeat the process. So 0 at 100, 4 at 125, 8.5 at 150, 13.5 at 175. You can see I'm holding left here. I think I saw the plate spin to the right on the last one. And 18.25 at 200. And a clean stage. Nice. Stage two, tire stocks. 12 rounds, two minutes. Starting one yard behind the firing point on the engage command, the shooter will engage target one with four rounds from the top of the left tire. Hit or miss, the shooter will move to the marked position on the barricade and engage target 2 with 4 rounds. Hit or miss, the shooter will move to the right tyre stack and engage target 1 with 2 rounds, followed by target 2 with his last 2 rounds. Once again I zeroed my scope for the close target, so with my 0 for 120 I could hold straight in, and for 175 yards it meant that I would have to hold over 10 MOA. So I dropped down onto position. You'll see that my reticle is illuminated. I did that because the target's in the shade and I didn't really want to have a black reticle on a dark grey target. I thought the red would help it stand out. You're going to see pretty much for all, all of this stage, um, I'm pretty wobbly. I considered using a tripod but I figured the time of this stage to get 12 rounds off and how slow I shoot. I, I think I made the right decision even though yeah I'm wobbly and a couple of these I'm sure are just hits because they're lucky. I'm kind of snap shooting when it's on target. Moving across into the barricade, holding over 10 MOA now. Again I did this for time. A lot of guys dial here but for time I figure I'll just hold over. As long as my reticle's level I should be fine. I do go and make all four hits here. I forget to change my magazine, so I drop straight into the position, get caught up on that piece of rope, and you'll see again I'm wobbly. So I'm ho holding straight in. I'm zoomed in now, so it takes me a second to find it. I'm still wobbly. Like, if you have an input of why I'm so wobbly there, maybe I'm pressing down on the tire and the rubber's trying to bounce back, I'm not sure. Or it's my heartbeat. Go changing the magazine. Yeah, if you know what's going on, please feel free to comment. I would, uh, I'd love the input. And I do pretty well and clear the stage in 144. Nice. Hi guys, I'm Tony. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. It is my first video on YouTube actually, so it's uh, I'm a little bit nervous doing it, and it's it's taken a fair while to get this thing get this thing edited. Um, yeah, so if you liked it, and there's a people that are interested in seeing this type of content, I've got a few matches coming up. So uh, yeah, if you like it, please leave a like or a comment, and uh, I'll see if I can uh, be a little bit faster this time. It's taken me like two weeks to edit this thing. I'm a little bit slow mentally and uh, editingly. So I said at early on I was going to comment on something that happened. I'm not trying to bash anybody here. I'm just want to highlight the situation, what happened, why I think it happened and why it's actually understandable how it happened. And if I can say happened again, that'd be great. So um, the range went cold. One of the targets, one of the targets went down. So the range was declared cold and uh, two of the guys got on the back of a four-wheeler and hopped down range to fix the target. They were down there for a while and the words of the command for the day were the range is hot, the range is cold. So range is hot meaning you're, you're okay to send rounds. The range is cold meaning stay away from your rifles, rifles down, keep away. Um, the day was like 33 degrees, 34 degrees, um, my wife got sunburned, it was, it was a hot day, so people, myself included, were saying and commenting how hot it is, and there was a bit of Chinese whispers going on, 
somebody overheard what a hot day and they must have thought that somebody has said the range is hot and long story short somebody got his son to load a, round, load a magazine and they put one round down range while there was people down range um, before everybody was like stop 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 um, and that was it like a couple of guys the guys who were doing it got disqualified um, not bringing this up to bash anybody I just wanted to highlight like maybe we should change our words of command so instead of saying the range is hot maybe we could say I know we could have a flag or we could have a make one guy and a megaphone rather than it was one guy who was saying it by voice pretty quietly if I'm gonna be honest and it was kind of getting passed down the line that way so yeah so that's it nobody died um the guys who were downrange you couldn't even see them or they were in dead ground so uh it's it's kind of understandable and uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again okay see you next time